points in his on the second half. Uh, that was good. Um, Colin is a guy that everyone likes, so when he comes in the game, it shows his emotion, it shows his um, the winning positive spirit when he gets to AM1 by just dapping the bench up, um, being encouraged and being energized. That means a lot because some guys get in the game, um, get an AM1, haven't played the whole first half, and just think, ah, it's all right. But now that really makes a difference. When we see someone on the court being so energized and energetic coming in, just giving us that boost that we need. Um, just a second, that just the energy he gave us. Not only the big buck he came in the second half, but the energy he gave us on the court and gave the bench as well. Because when you're on the road, you got to bring your own energy. And um, you know, not only that, we were just so happy for him because he worked so hard and, and he deserved this and, and much more. How did you feel his flames maybe affected their offense? See, baby. See, murder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot. Um, his presence at the rim. Is, is always been good since he got here, and uh, we had a big lineup, and he was able to guard the perimeter. He guarded it very well for us, so he was huge uh, both offensively and defensively for us. Next. It seems like uh, X has kind of reached a, a new level as far as scoring and passing. I guess if, if the two other guys up there could speak to his play the last few games. Um, it's amazing. Um, not a surprise though. Kind of seeing that dating back since he was a sophomore leading the group to the national championship game. Uh, so it's, it's, it's nothing new to us. He just go out there and perform and just being Xavier Simpson that we know, a great leader uh, on both ends of the court, just being aggressive on both ends of the court as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, same thing. You know, it's, I'm blessed to be a part of his journey, um, to see every day how hard he works, you know. Um, and he has a scoring mentality. He has every mentality you need as a point guard. Like Coach says, he's our Tom Brady. Um, everybody on the team loves him. And uh, – just to see him score a thousand points is remarkable, and to be a part of that on this team, it, it's going to be it's going to be awesome looking back on one day. Connor, um, to anybody, what is it? What are maybe the difficulties of having Isaiah back, and then him getting injured again, having to kind of create that offense without him? Um, obviously Isaiah is a big part of the team, but at the same time, um, with him being injured, the most we can do is help continue to build him a positive spirit, and as Coach Juwan would say, uh, next man up. We can't dwell on it. We have to move on. Um, keep him in our prayers. Stay positive. Make sure he's doing the best he can with his, with his recovery work and continue to move on. Go ahead, Jeff. What's it say about this team? I mean, you guys are down, Isaiah. You guys are trailing by nine early in the second half. You're at a place where this team's 17 and 0. What's it say about this team? You guys are coming here. Call. Call. Um, it shows a lot. Um, I think a big word that we were touching on and talked about was grit. You know, just coming in here. Um, with our backs against the wall, you know, they were 17 and 0, but we knew we could get the job done, and we had the confidence that we can come in here and, and secure the dub, so we did just that. Um, Ashley, could you repeat that question one more time? Chris, you guys are trailing by nine. You guys are down Isaiah. There's 17 right here. What's the show about this team coming here? Um, just our depth um, from the first man to the last man, and that's just a testament to our great coaching staff who uh, st is still in us each and every day just about next man up mentality and uh, just each and every day just competing against one another in practice because not only going to make you better indivi individually, but us as a collective unit. Anything else for the guys? Do you think the, the silver lining of Isaiah's first absence, the, the six-game absence, was getting to see that depth and kind of getting thrown into the fire? Thanks. Um... Maybe. Um, obviously, Isaiah is a big part of the team, but at the same time, um, we got to have next men up. We can't focus on someone that's injured. As I said before, most we can do is keep him positive in his mind, and at the same time, don't make sure he does the best in his recovery work. Obviously, we would love to have Isaiah, but at the time we're going to play because Rutgers a team who hasn't lost um, a home game this season. A team with a great coaching staff, great players, um, great enthusiasm on that side, with a great fan base. We gotta have next man number time. We can't think of. if we had Isaiah, we can do this, we can spray the court out more, he can make shots for us. We gotta have next man up mentality. Okay, fellas, thank you.